Welcome. In this new playlist, I'll show off my new toy. Here it is. The long-awaited Z80 MBC2 Microcomputer Black Edition. I bought this from Giovanni over at McJohn's in Italy. Now, let's see what's inside. Let's open this first bag. Well, this is well packed. A bag within a bag containing other bags. I see a bunch of components like connectors, LEDs, a heat sink, some thermal paste, resistors, capacitors, and of course a PCB. This is the microterm add-on which will provide VGA output and a PS2 connector. Let's see what's inside bag number two. Again, well packed. I can make out some ICs and sockets, a cable, and some modules, resistors, capacitors. This is the heart of it all, the Z80 MBC2, with 128 kilobytes of banked RAM and a slew of other features, which we'll cover later on. Bag number three seems to contain some documentation. Well, this is slightly overkill. Packing paper within a plastic bag? <laughs> now let's see what we have here. This is page one of the schematic for the MBC2. Page two. The bill of materials the silkscreen view of the PCB, another view of the PCB containing the component values, the schematic for the microterm, its bill of materials, the silkscreen view of the PCB, and the other view of the PCB with the component values. Now it's time to open up the bag of components for each of the modules, board, however you want to call it. I'm starting with the main one, the SBC2. The first module, a TTL to USB transceiver. I just hope I have a Type-A to Type-A cable for that. It comes with a 5-pin DuPont cable to hook up to the MBC2 serial header, I think. I need better lighting for my camera setup. <laughs> It's unbranded, but has a model number, HW-409. The second module is a micro SD card interface. It comes with a standard sized SD adapter. The micro SD card is already inside the slot. and it's a 4 gigabyte card branded team. I hope all the necessary software is there. We'll see soon enough. The module itself has an SPI interface. There's no branding or model number. It does have a 3.3 volt regulator and it appears to be 5 volt tolerant. The third module is a real-time clock. It interfaces through I2C. The timekeeping chip is a DS3231. And like the other modules, it's not branded, but has a model number HW-084 silkscreened on it. No way to tell just by looking, but I assume it's 5 volt tolerant. 
and the holder is for a standard CR2032 coin cell battery. Provided is the battery. Next, the bag of components. First component bag, we have the headers, standoffs, buttons, the second component bag, we have diodes, LEDs, and a crystal oscillator, and what appears to be transistors. Third bag of components, capacitors, two of which are surely for the crystal, and the rest is for bypass and filtering. And the last bag, a variety of resistors and two resistor network. In this bag, we'll find chips and sockets, interestingly packaged. We know from the website that one is an 8 MHz Z80, an Atmega 32 microcontroller, a 128 kilobyte RAM chip, and a GPIO extender. Next inside the bag is the PCB. In beautiful black, may I say. The silk screen is well done, and the size looks to be the classical 100 mm squared. Let's grab the microterm bag now. First bag seems to contain the thermal paste spreader, some thermal paste, and a heat sink. The second bag has a variety of connectors like VGA, a PS2 adapter, PS2 connector, and a barrel connector. The third bag is a bag of bags. And the first bag contains connectors, jumpers, standoffs, and headers of all types. The second bag has diodes, LEDs, regulator, transistors, and an oscillator. The third bag is filled with capacitors. We all know what most of them will be used for, but two of them will be for the oscillator. The fourth bag are resistors. And in the fifth bag, there's one socket and one chip. That too is packaged in a non-standard way. And lastly, the PCB. It has a surface-mounted microcontroller already pre-soldered on the board. But did you notice? 
A resistor is already pre-soldered. Your guess is as good as mine as to why it's there. Hopefully, it's the right one. Other than that, the black finish is very nice, and so is the silk screen. Well, that's it. My first very own Z80 microcomputer. Well, aside from the fact that I'm currently breadboarding one. Check out my other playlist, Z80 Homebrew. It's still a work in progress, mind you. Please help support this channel by subscribing and clicking the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content. Don't forget to hit the like button if you liked it. It really helps the YouTube algorithm. Thank you and see you next time.